Hi students, uh, in the previous video I explained uh, about the constructor and the different types of constructor. So the different types of constructor I explained about the default constructor, parameterized constructor, and the copy constructor. Okay, so these are the three different types of constructor. Now let us see the different ways of calling a constructor. Okay, the ways of calling the constructor. So if you want to call a constructor, you can use this uh, different ways. So the first one is the implicit call. Implicit call. And second is the explicit call Ex explicit call and the third one is the dynamic initialization dynamic initialization so these are the three different ways of calling implicit call explicit call dynamic initialization so let us see what is this implicit call so, implicit call means calling the constructor by its object. It simply means calling the object. So, calling the constructor by its object. We do not specify constructor name here. Okay. So, just it's calling the constructor by its object. Here, we do not specify any constructor name. So, example for this implicit call means just circle c is the object 3.5 so here just i'm entering the uh, value here implicit call calling the constructor by its object now let us see the explicit call so what is this explicit call so constructor uh, is called by its parameters if the constructor is called by its parameter, then you call it as a explicit call. So, what is it? Uh, let's see the example for explicit call. So, here the circle is the class name. C is the object is equal to circle 3.5. Here the constructor is called by its parameters. So, here the constructor is called by its parameter, then you call it as explicit call. Here is just implicitly your writing and this is the explicit. Now, coming to the dynamic initialization. So, dynamic initialization means first, first memory is allocated. So, first the memory is allocated to the object using default constructor. So, in the dynamic initialization, first memory is allocated to the object by using default constructor. Then parameterized constructor is called. So, after the, uh, allocating the memory, then parameterized constructor is called to initialize to initialize data members okay that you call it as a dynamic initialization means the first memory is allocated to objects first the memory is allocated to object using default constructor so by using any default values or uh, you can just allocate the memory to the objects after that the para uh, parameterized constructor is called to initialize the data members so first it declares uh, takes the default values after that the user is uh, giving the values to that particular data members to that variables that you call it as a dynamic initialization the syntax for this is sorry circle c okay circle c is a class name and the object so now the first memory is allocated to this object c after that float 
x so here is i declare the value now i am just reading this value c in x so after that c is equal to circle of x okay so this x value will be entered by the user okay at the time of uh, running the program that is a that you call it as a para uh, parameterized constructors so this is the parameterized constructor the circle x so these are the three different ways of uh, calling the constructor you can call the constructor by implicit call or explicit call or dynamic initialization now let us see the uh, the characteristics the special characteristics of the special characteristics of constructor so what are the characteristics of the constructors let us see so you have to follow some uh, rules like that this the first one is they they should be declared in public section so if you want to declare the construction you have to be noted that they should be declared in only public section next uh, they do not have any written type so did you observe that program so whatever the constructor wherever the we use the constructor the constructor name is same as a class name so there we we are not using any written type not even void also not even sorry not even void okay so first they should be declared in public section after that they do not have any written type values not even void next they get automatically invoke when object is created so already i had say that i said that that uh, this uh, constructors will be automatically invoked when object or created now so they cannot be inherited through derived class so you have to be note that they cannot be inherited through derived class and can call the base class constructor means they cannot be inherited through derived class can call the base class constructor and next one like other functions actually the constructor is itself is a function so like other functions they can have default arguments so you can enter the default arguments you can uh, the system the compiler will take the default arguments like other functions so next the constructor cannot be virtual constructors cannot be virtual so they allocate some memory space so if you declare the constructor automatically it occupies some space in the memory so they cannot be virtual like classes so classes are virtual whereas constructor is not virtual but here one thing is class name is same as a constructor name but both are different just using the class name as a constructor name here the constructors are not virtual whereas class can be a virtual so these are the different special characters uh, that are there for the constructors thank you